Hi guys, it's James here from Axpar London Group. I'm down in our pool office today, uh, just checking out some stock boats and bringing you some, some videos online. So um, we have a couple of stock Axpar 28s at the moment, but only one cabin boat available for the 2020 season. So if you're thinking once restrictions are eased that you'd like to get out on the water, uh, this is gonna be the only option we can offer you uh, immediate delivery, uh, so as soon as we can do a PDI and uh, carry out a handover. So I'll just spin the camera around behind me here, just give you a quick rundown of what's what's here. So the boat we're gonna focus on today is this all gray uh, 28 cabin with a Brabus line trim. And you'll see in some of my other videos, uh, there is the, the Miami blue 28 with a the T-top there. And then we have another white T-top boat with, uh, with a single engine and a 28 open on the end there. So uh, yeah, there's a, there's a couple of boats here to, to offer, but say today we're gonna focus on this 28 cabin. I say, and there's a really eye-catching all gray Brabus line trim here. So we've got the gray hull with the black um, Brabus detailing on the rails and painted cleats and what have you. It's a really moody looking boat. See um, nice little detailing here with the, the smoke badges. Contrast really nicely against the against the grey. Uh, single engine configuration, so we've gone with a single 300 Mercury V8. Uh, these engines were introduced to the market 2019, very well received from the original six cylinder engines now up to the V8s. Really torquey, uh, gives the top speed on these boats about 42 knots. So it's a nice, it's a nice uh, all round package with a single. And uh, let's head up on, on board and, and talk you through the spec. Standard finish on the platforms here, either side of the engine. So we've got the S-Tech either side, and we've got the black painted ski frame here, which is an option from the factory. Uh, port hand locker here has been upgraded. So that's got the, the cooling palette in there, as well as a, an internal cool box. Uh, we've got some fishing rod holders, ensign staff holder. We've got a pull out transom shower. So fresh water system also with a sink in the back. You have to exclude the um, the bird mess on the boat they haven't been cleaned for a few weeks now uh, starboard side this is a, a generic storage locker so handy place to put ropes and fenders and what have you and then tucked down here we've got a fire extinguisher and then led deck lights all the way around so if you just come down to low level you'll see on the outboard side there nice little blue lights for night time so if we just drop down and you imagine having kids on board it's very safe feeling these high high gunnels with the painted rails feels very secure as you're walking around the boat and again up on the roof as part of the the targa arch which is another upgrade with the rails here somewhere handy to strap your paddle boards down but also very very see feeling of safety all the time somewhere easy to grab hold of so we start up forward we've got this large l-shaped seating area so you'd have um, silver text cushions that we'll see when we go downstairs that sit on the on the port side here of course lifting up to give you a great storage you can see the table in there which sits out here in the front part of the silver tech pack as well that drops down to make a sun pad so that will enclose this whole area um, into a sunbed you've got a cushion on the on the starboard wall walk there as well and then up forward we've elected to go with the um the anchor winch so you've got the electric anchor winch with a nice little control here easy to uh, easy to use Toilet exterior on the on the 28. So here, nice big, easy access door. It's the same modelling whether you go with the the T-top or the the open or cabin version. And we've got the electric flush Jabsco toilet. Again, little sink, fresh water system, main um, 12 volt domestics panel over there. Everything shuts with a good clonk. It's a very um, very good finish. You know the inside of the lockers. Everything's nice, and neat, and tidy. Just pull the floors up here, and you can have a look what we've got. So again, uh, holding tank for the toilet, bow thruster tucked up the front there, which is great for maneuverability. So very easy to run, lots of owners using these single-handed. If we have a look up top, uh, this is a protective cover on here at the moment. So we take this off and then there's an electric um, retracting sunroof, which obviously opens the boat up, really makes the benefit of this cabin. Very practical either in warm climates and you want the sun protection um, or, or cooler climates like here in the UK where we can we can shut it off at the touch of a button and you're driving behind glass so very practical if you're coming out of a rib or a small sports boat and looking for something without the faff of canopies they're very very practical boats shut the doors and, and get in the car to go home at the end of a weekend there isn't that faffing around that you get on the smaller boats typically associated 
with canopies. Sitting at the helm here, say Brabus line trim package, so we've got nice Alcantara finish to the wheel, embossed Brabus logo here on the passenger grab rail, and then we've elected nav wise, so we've got a DSC Garmin VHF, uh, we've got a single touchscreen GPS plotter here, which will um, it could be further upgraded to put a Garmin uh, radar into it, you can put AIS. Um, and there is space to um, to squeeze a second screen in there if you really wanted to, but one generally is more than adequate on these boats um, used as day boats. And then nice little array of LED switches here for, for lighting and horn controls and what have you. Trim tabs is a, is a factory option we've gone for. I was saying we saw the thruster earlier. Over here is Mercury's fly-by-wire throttle. So this is one finger in and out of gear. Very easy to use from a maneuverability point of view. We've got the trim on our, on our thumb here. Nice and easy to control. And then for first time boaters, we've got this lovely um, Mercury Active Trim System. So this will um, adjust the running angle of the boat when you're, um, when you're underway. And you can adjust the severity of it as to how much input you want from the computer. But it's a very, very straightforward system. And I have to say, even as a, as a very experienced helm, I'm very happy to have it on and let the boat adjust. Whilst I might be able to trim the boat a little bit faster than the computer can, it's saving a lot more fuel with its constant adjustment. So it's a great very practical system saying so, I would recommend that to anybody uh, looking up top so you see the switch here for the for the electrics uh, we've got ventilation ducts up the top here which can be plumbed into a central heating system the boat hasn't got diesel heating on at the moment but it's a retrofitable system if you wanted it uh, we've got the fusion stereo system so we've got speakers here in the cabin that work off that and it's also Bluetooth to talk to your phone the helm seat and the co-pilot seat here will spin around 180 degrees, which gives you uh, more of a, a sort of social center area for conversing. And they also lift up as well to reveal some practical touches. So we've got that little sink under the driver's seat. And then this one currently full of boxes pre PDI, but this is a, a cool box in this one. So um, again, nice, nice handy systems if you want to, to stay away for a couple of days. As the aft cabin version, we've got this uh, currently in the sort of storage position. So the, the back seat here is lifted up to give you access into the, the aft cabin. You have to excuse the fact it's full of cushions at the moment, but I don't want to put them out and get them dirty with the boat not uh, fully prepped at the moment. There is also a, an, a hatch if you see up top there. So there's access into this cabin from the, from the deck if you want to load it up with, with inflatables and what have you, wakeboards, if it's a storage area. Uh, but if you're staying on board, it's an emergency access as this central saloon can also be made into another double. So in theory, you could sleep four people on one of these overnight if you so wish. Got nice windows either side, so it's giving a bit of natural light into here. Uh, battery switch is nice, easy to hand here with the main breakers. Hard to see under the cushions, but there's a step down between the beds, which just gives a, a little bit more space here when you're first getting up it's a sort of big um, u-shaped bed and then if we come on out we'll just show you what the uh, the outside of that sun pad looks like so you have cushions that sit on top here um, and then we've got the harbour covers as well so there's a red canvas package which covers over those silver text cushions so you haven't got to put them inside the cabin all the time and then up top we've got the uh, the rocket launcher fishing rod holders as well so it's a really high spec boat uh, on the water here in the UK we're looking specced here about 129 and a half thousand pounds tax paid uh, so yeah very little perhaps the radar and a couple of other basic um, basic items to add some safety equipment and what have you and uh, you could be out on the water no time at all engines not registered for warranty yet I say it's a full 2020 package arrived here not long before the lockdown for us um, and if you prefer to wait and do your own new build spec you're looking around three to four months for a, for a new build product such as this. So if you'd like any further information, say my name is James from Axapar London. Uh, my mobile is plus four four seven seven four seven six eight six five eight seven, or drop me an email to james.lumley at axaparlondongroup.com. I can send you some photos and, uh, and full specs on either this boat or any of the other um, stock boats you can see here in front of us. Um, or further information online if you'd like to see what a new build would cost to do to your own spec and what the availability is. Sorry it's a brief tour today, uh, if there's anything in, more you'd like to know please get in touch.